So in this video, I want to take a quick look at this pen. It's called the Penco Drafting Writer. It is a little pocketable, retractable pen, all metal, has an interesting look, kind of uh, reminiscent of a Rotring 600 with the hexagonal body and the knurling. But uh, I think it's a relatively new design. At least I first started seeing it a few months ago. I'm not sure if it's just landed on me and they got more distribution or if it's new or what. But uh, it is, the brand's called Penco. I think it's made or manufactured by a company called High Tide. And uh, that company also makes this, which I've seen more often. This is called the uh, Perfection Pencil or Pocket Perfection. You can see it right here. I'm oh, sorry, pen rather, <laughs> not pencil. It's called the Penco Perfection. This is a, uh, a bullet-shaped or bullet-designed design pocket pencil. Sells for about $10. And uh, you see them popping up now and then. And uh, I did talk about this one and uh, what I'm writing with video in March 2022. So check that for more details. But this is sort of the cheap version. This is $10. And the drafting writer is sort of the more expensive version. This one sells for about $36. So it's a pretty expensive acquisition, particularly for a pocket pen. So which is not something you can use all the time. So uh, what's the deal with this one? Why does it cost so much? And, uh, you know, is it any good? I've been using this one for, I've been using this one for a few weeks now. Uh, like I said, it cost me $36 and it's not on Amazon or anything like that. So you got to pick up shipping as well. And, uh, it's pretty nice. I'm definitely not blown away, especially given the price and the number of alternatives that you could get for a similar amount of money. You're definitely looking at like a Fisher or, uh, you know, you can get a, a real Fisher bullet pen for considerably less than that. So uh, while I really like some of the features and I like the idea and I think the aesthetics are fantastic, uh, I would I would pause before recommending this, recommending people spend so much money on this pen. Okay, so what's the deal? I think the metal's aluminum. Uh, hard to tell. They don't exactly say all the time, is it magnesium, is it what? Uh, so it's a metal pen, hexagonal design, metal clip, flat clip clip is good nice clip uh, click mechanism so a uh, nice long throw there good feel you do have some of that metal on metal feel so you have that sort of scraping sound i know some people don't like that has a needle tip design uh, but the refill is replaceable so it's not really a big deal we'll get into that in a second really nice clean knurling see they did a really good job there comes apart inside we see it's all metal and then uh, so what we have here on the inside is you have a holder that's this little sleeve right here and then inside you pull this piece out leave the sleeve in there I don't think it's supposed to come out I haven't messed with it too much so all this is is this is a d1 style refill so it's a standard refill and this is an unbranded refill. All it says on it is, uh, I think that's 0F or 0, zero E, perhaps 0E. Uh, I don't know who makes this or whatever. Uh, the You don't see a lot of D1 with a needle tip, so I suppose if you really poked into it, you could figure out what the uh, deals, deal with this it is, but it's a black 0.5 millimeter refill. Putting it back is very simple. This slides into the sleeve. Kind of got to push it in there. The spring goes back. The sleeve actually acts as a spring stop. So you don't want to mess up the sleeve. You do need it. And then this all goes back together. It is nicely made. All the manufacturing tolerances are, are quite good. It's a little bit of squeak here, but that's not a big deal. Nice and quiet. So the spring is keeping everything in there compressed, which is uh, a good sign. As far as the writing goes, uh, the refill is nothing special. It's just kind of a standard black 0.5 millimeter ballpoint. So this is the Penco drafting writer, or maybe it's called the drafting ball writer, something like that. This is the 0.5 millimeter black refill. The refill is fine, reasonably smooth, uh, on the thin side. So legibility is not 
ideal, but it writes on almost all surfaces, which is kind of what you want from a pocket pen. On the size side, it has a nice diameter. I don't have a problem with that. I like the knurling. It has really good grip without feeling sharp. The pen's on the short side, so you don't want to write a whole lot with this. My hand will just start cramping up. And what's nice with a capped pen that this small, that's this small is you flip it over, and now it's almost full size. Here's that Fisher Space Pen. Again, flip it over, it's almost full size. Fisher also has a pressurized refill. So if you write upside down, underwater, in the hot, in the cold, it doesn't matter. That's good to go. You get that little crust or that little junk out of the refill to start off with, but it's always ready to go. The Penco doesn't have that sort of uh, pressurized refill. Uh, it does get the needle tip and it does look better, but you're not getting that functionality. And then you're stuck with a very small pen. The nice thing is it's one-handed. If you, if you need a pen all the time, keep this one in your pocket or whatever. You grab it, you push it, you're good to go. Something like this, not so easy to get at one-handed. But, and this, this one, <laughs> the Fisher doesn't have a clip. You could add one, but it doesn't come with one. This one has a clip, and I really don't like the clip. The clip is sharp, so a lot of trade-offs here with anything pocketable. Which, you know, it's just so personal and so close to you throughout the day, maybe uh, you know, multiple days a week, multiple hours a day, so you want to find exactly what's right for you. For me, uh, the shortness of this one is definitely a problem, although everything else about it I really like. I think this would be a really cool pencil, in, or pen rather, in full size, uh, but I don't think they do make it in a full size. As far as that goes, it is, these are half inch marks. So with the uh, button, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four inches long. If you press the button, it doesn't really make a difference. And then here's some reference points. There's the Penco Perfection. If you're gonna write with it, now you can see you're losing a full inch off the extended pen. Similarly with the Fisher Space Pen, you're losing like an inch and a half. So big difference. As far as just a daily writer, again, you are you have about an inch and a half sa space saved when it's in your pocket, but you're losing a full inch or so versus an uncapped kind of standard pen. So if you have any pens around, think about what they would be like about an inch shorter, or uh, if you have a short pen, what they would be like uncapped. It's like riding with a, a Caveco Sport without the uh, top on it. It's definitely on the short side. It is usable, unless if you have uh, very large hands and maybe you're just like, I cannot do it. If you have smaller hands, then maybe you're, you're good to go and you're very happy with it. For me, it's a little short and a little bit uncomfortable. A little bit of extra width might help with that, so I feel like I'm kind of grabbing it really hard to hold it stable but uh, on the whole it's fine for short notes but not something i want to write with for very long aesthetically i think it looks really nice i think they could clean up clean up this logo a little bit it looks just like a little bit printed on like a kind of an afterthought i would have liked to see it maybe stamped on there or etched on there i think that would be really good especially if it's just going to be white and nothing special but I'm just kind of nitpicking at this point. Clips on there nice and solid, no problems there. And then the button has a nice feel to it. So overall, it's a, it's a really nice pen. I don't think it's worth the $36, but as far as like a cool pen to keep on you and something you might gift to someone, I think this would be uh, really ideal for that. So yeah, I think that about covers it. It's the Penco Drafting Writer ballpoint pen. Pretty interesting pickup. Thanks for watching.